It's brutally cold outside and I hope everyone is staying safe and warm this week. For us, the cold means we're still covering some college hoops and that's exactly what we have for you this evening. The McMurray Warhawks taking on Sewell Ross at home, starting with the women. Fourth quarter, Valerie Alvarado driving to the hoop and banks in the shot despite a lot of traffic. She's got McMurray up 48-39. Destiny Matthews with the ball inside the arc. Great spin, fadeaway shot, knocks it down. Warhawks leading 50-40. Alvarado again driving in but stops on a dime, creates space and cans the shot. Great play, McMurray up 54-42. Matthews wants another bucket, gets inside to the paint, puts up the jumper, it's good and she'd be fouled. She would make the free throw 57-42. Warhawks on a roll, Kylie Smith gets the bounce pass, makes the layup and would be fouled. Free throw would be good, 60-44. Matthews now again playing great basketball today, getting another shot to go here, 63-53. Here's the score. The Warhawks get their first win of the season with a 65-54 win over the Lobos. Now to the men following that game. First half, Julian Paredes getting the pass in the corner, lets the three fly, and they're on the board first up by three. A few possessions later, Paredes again getting a pass, gets the floater to go. Lobos ahead by seven early. McMurray. Now trying to push the ball up here, but Jarrell Griffin with the quick hands gets the steal and the easy layup. They're now up by eight. Warhawks looking to get back in it. Remy Miner pushes the ball up the court, pulls up for the jumper, splashes it, and they are now down by six. Miner on the charge again, dribbles inside below the basket, and sets up Michael Imaragbe for the easy bucket. McMurray trails by four. Miner turning into quite the facilitator. Check this out. Beautiful. Alley oop pass to Emma Ragbe, slams it down with authority. They're only down by one, but here's the score. McMurray comes up short today, falling 97 to 92. 